Hi everyone. I hope that you're doing really well today. And if it might be that you're not, I hope to have some news for you that's going to change your perspective, change your day, and your outlook. Acts chapter 5 talks about that the church, and we that are born again believers, we're the church. And just because we're born again doesn't mean we're not subject to problems and situations. No, by no means. Sometimes we have it the worst because we've got an enemy that seeks to get us down. But fear gripped the church back in the book of Acts. And also in 1 John, he talks about how that fear hath torment. Well, nobody likes to have fear. Nobody likes that. And fear does not come by way of Oh, the, the shaky kind of terroristic or horrorizing spear. It's sometimes just as a matter of, well, just being down, uh, worried, uh, as the Word says, cautious about things. And the Lord says, I want you to have liberty. I want you to have freedom. So we all are subject to having feelings of being down in the dumps. The question is, how do we climb out of that pit? And some people, well, they, they say, I think I'm going to go buy something new. And they do, which creates a whole nother area of concern because, well, they got to pay for whatever they bought. Then there are people who look for somebody else that's having a harder time than they are. Uh, I don't know, uh, you may have a, a, a a splinter in your finger and be all concerned about that thing and then all of a sudden you find out somebody doesn't have a finger it has a whole new perspective but even that sometimes doesn't make you feel better so what do you do well my wife and I we've we've got something that we do we sing a sweet sweet song to one another if we sense that one or the other is down and that song we heard a long time ago, you may have heard it. I see a worried look upon your face. You got your troubles, I got mine. You get it? <laughs> you need some sympathy, well, hey, so do I. You got your troubles, I got mine. Well, you know, you know the song. And if you don't, well, hey, at least the lyrics say, you got your troubles, I got mine. And we all do. Hey, why don't we just sit down and have ourselves a little, little pity party here? Well, that's not going to help you. There's only one person can help, and that is our Lord. But we'll look and try everything we possibly can to overcome. If a funny thing or something doesn't pull you out, well, it's understandable. There was a, a man who went to see a doctor and he, he was really down. I mean, he was so down in the press. Like I said before, down in the dumps. He didn't know how to get out. He did not know what to do. He said, Doc, that's why I've come to see you. And the doc says, well, you know, you're in physical, physically, you're in good condition. He said, yeah, but, you know, I, don't, I, I can't eat, I can't sleep, I'm exhausted. Uh, I just, there, there's just, just got no joy in my life. He said, I tell you what, there's a circus in town. And you need to go to that circus. Why? Because there is a star performer there, and he's a clown. His name is Grimaldi. And he is so funny. He has everybody just rolling in the aisles with laughter and you need to go and see him he said no that won't work he said well well why he said well doc you don't understand i am grimaldi even the person who is filled with laughter even the person that is filled with so much uh joy of making other people happy sometimes they get down so don't kick yourself if you're down sometimes. Don't do that. But rather, seek how you can get 
back up again. You got to understand, first and foremost, God didn't give you that down problem. He didn't give you that worry, that stress. In fact, he, on the contrary, says, cast all your cares upon him because he cares about you. So he didn't give you the cares. We've got an enemy of our soul that gives us plenty of cares. But he, on the contrary, according to 2 Timothy 1, verse 7, he gives us the spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. And if those things are not prevalent in your life, well then, hey, let's activate those things. Jesus knew how to do that. Jesus knows what we're going through. And he did it for himself. Therefore, he will give us the wisdom to be able to do the same thing for ourselves. Say, yeah, but he was God. He didn't have any kind of problems like I have. Oh, yeah, he did. In fact, he had more problems than you could ever even imagine. I mean, he was, he was uh, ridiculed, falsely accused, uh, put to an unjust death. Uh, he, in a human body, hungered. He had thirst. He got tired. I mean, I can give you scriptures for all those things. I mean, well, for one, for instance, getting tired. Look at John chapter 4. He went to the well of Samaria. Why? Because he was tired. He went to the well, possibly because he's also thirsty. Now, if he knows how to overcome temptations and fears and problems, and if he knows how to do it, he knows how to help you in it as well. He's a perfect and glorious high priest. He knows everything that we need. And he invites you to come. Now, if we have never had a trouble or a care, then we must be dead. Because as long as you're living, you're going to have that. That's not, that's not a bad message to give you. That's just something that I warn you if bad days come. Don't think that you are you've sinned and that you're not going to make it. Jesus says you will. He invites you to come. Matthew 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. All of you that feel like, man, life is just not worth living anymore. Before you do anything, come to Him. He said, I will receive you and whosoever will may come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when we do come to Jesus and He, with understanding heart, begins to soothe us. For He says, come to Him with prayer and supplication and thanksgiving. Don't worry about things. For He said, I will give you peace to replace that worry. There were times in, in Bible college, and I'm going to ask Jason Isaac if you'll come and join me. That I, I was tired. Uh, you know, you're away from home, possibly for the first time, and you, you feel lonely, even though you got friends. And there were times I felt that way. And I grabbed this guitar, and I just start singing this old song. Far away in the depths of my spirit this day rolls a melody sweeter than songs in celestial-like strains it unceasingly falls Oh, my soul, like an infinite calm. Oh, peace, peace, wonderful peace, coming down from the Father above. Fathomless billows 
place of love. Close your eyes right now. Pray to God and let Him touch you. Let the peace of God that passes all understanding shower you now as we sing. Peace, peace, wonderful peace coming down from our Father above. Oh, sweep over our spirits forever, ever I pray. In fathomless pillows of love.